Concern about PFAS impacting your property, but don't know where to start? The first thing is to define the extent of a PFAS contamination, also referred to as PFAS plume, moving in the subsurface groundwater or aquifer, which is the water bearing zone in the ground. Next, you will need to treat or remediate the PFAS plume. Environmental experts define remediation as eliminating PFAS risk to human health and the environment. The best way to do this is to contain or stop the plume from leaving the property where it could impact a receptor, like a drinking water well, lake, or stream. But what's the best approach? In the past, environmental firms would install pumping wells to capture the groundwater leaving the property, and in an effort to flush the aquifer clean of all the contaminants, they would continue to pump water from the site and filter the pollutants out of every gallon of recovered water, then transport all the spent filter material to landfills for disposal, or send it to incinerators to be burned up. This approach, known as pump and treat, was very expensive. While it did contain the contaminant plume from moving off the property, it rarely ever worked to flush the aquifer clean. Flushing the aquifer by pumping water through it simply took way too long to wash all the pollutants out and meet the government's requirements. As far back as 1989, highly regarded environmental hydrogeologists, Drs. John Cherry and Doug McKay, published a landmark paper which coined pump and treat remediation in perpetuity, exposing the futility of applying pumping to flush contaminants from aquifers. And in 2005, after the U.S. Department of Defense had spent over $10 billion on pump and treat efforts to remediate industrial solvent contamination from groundwater, the Government Accounting Office concluded pump and treat was expensive and inefficient. Surprisingly, pump and treat systems are still being run today, with some installed more than 40 years ago, and they are still failing to completely flush industrial solvents like TCE from aquifers. With this past understanding, it is crazy to consider installing a pump and treat system to try and flush PFAS from an aquifer. Compounds like PFOS, one of the most common PFAS known, are over 10 times absorptive to aquifer soils as compared to industrial solvents like TCE. And shockingly, the government standards required for PFOS are likely to be 1,000 times lower. So if you install a pump and treat system, it likely will not clean up the PFOS plume within your lifetime, your children's lifetime, or their children's lifetime. The only thing the pump and treat system will be doing is containing the PFOS plume at an enormous monetary and energy cost. There is a better way. Plume Stop technology has been proven to effectively remediate and mitigate the risk of PFOS on many contaminated properties globally without the costs and risk of operating a pump and treat system. A single injection of Plume Stop will continue to remediate and protect the property for decades. And with treatment of the PFOS source soils, a single injection may treat the aquifer forever. Plume Stop has been proven to remediate PFOS on a wide range of industrial facilities, airports, and military bases without any of the risks associated with pump and treat systems and at a fraction of the cost, all while producing no waste products requiring disposal. For more information on how Plume Stop is effectively remediating PFOS sites globally, go to www.pfostreatment.org.